everyone welcome to the session welcome to sprint text icsc and today we are going to do the poem the patriot this is shweta roy your english master teacher at vidantu so guys i hope you have already visited the umang series related to this particular poem where i have explained the complete poem in details in depth and if you haven't guys please do watch that for uh, in depth analysis of the poem and then come to the sprint text sessions because uh, here i'm going to talk about the question and answers very important question and answers so if you're not very thorough with the poem it will be very difficult for you to relate to the poem okay okay guys so uh, we will be talking about the three marks and the four marks question exactly as it comes in your papers so we have uh, completed till um, uh, daffodils right so we are left with few more chapters and poems to go okay next session is going to be on uh, the patriot and we'll complete the entire sprint text sessions on 27th on of feb and physics uh, math is going to continue till 26th and um, sst chemistry bio is going to also continue till 27th of feb along with english okay guys so before starting of the session please do hit the like button share the video amongst your friends and also do subscribe to the channel if you haven't okay so i would like to begin with a wonderful quote which is somehow related to the poem that we are going to read because the theme of the poem is definitely showing the rise and the fall of fortune right so this is a quote related to that particular theme men fall from great fortune because of the same shortcomings that led to their rise okay so fall of fortune rise and fall of fortune a uh, change in the public opinion these are basically the very 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 important themes where we come to, when we come to this particular poem and thank you so much guys for all your appreciation okay uh, so the homework answer is also there by aditya narayan pradhan thank you so much aditya and bhargavi and kutan thank you so much guys for your appreciation ma'am i'm from cbse but phir bhi i see this session because you are amazing thank you thank you thank you so much okay so i hope uh, the sessions are uh, helpful to all of you guys so keep posting your comments on the homework answers as well like you do guys i really love to read them all and now we will be uh, beginning with the session and this is the homework question for the previous session if in case you haven't been able to prepare or uh, you are confused about what are the points that you should go forward with so you can look at the question look at the answer this is a model answer that we have tried to come up with of course you can come up with a very 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 different approach a unique answer on your own and better than this definitely i am i'm fully 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 i fully believe on that okay so anyways let us begin with the session this is the way first stanza with which we are going to begin with it was roses roses all the way with myrtle mixed in my path like mad the house roof seemed to heave and sway the church spires flamed such flags they had a year ago on this very day let us have a look at the very first question what does the speaker talk about in these lines what does the third line suggest here describe the dominant mood of this stanza so we have three questions here so you can approximately distribute the marks one into three okay so what uh, does the speaker talk about in these lines definitely he's talking about the past i mean when he was hailed as the hero right and what does the third line suggest the house roof seemed to heave and sway that means you have to explain this particular line and the dominant mood of this stanza so let us see how to approach this particular answer this particular question the speaker talks about the rousing welcome he had been accorded by the people earlier as i told you the path his path was you know filled with roses mitles he was hailed as a hero there right huge presence of crowd that had assembled on the uh, house tops this gave the impression as though so this is the second one okay the third line okay it's suggesting that uh, it's suggesting the huge crowd that was that had been assembled and the on the house tops and uh, giving the impression as though they were moving and swinging okay so uh, <clears throat> the dominant mood is that of festive joy and cheerfulness so definitely the speaker here is hailed as hailed as a hero okay welcomed 
or you can say grand welcome okay his path strewn with roses okay so these are the other points that you can also add to this particular um uh, answer right so and uh, talking about the sec third line huge okay I'll, i'll just explain in short basically the house roof seemed to heave and sway so because of the crowd okay because people were so very anxious so very curious to meet their hero okay that they assembled in great numbers and that is why the roof seemed to heave and sway seemed to you know move okay uh because of the presence of so many people they gave uh, this gave the impression as though they were moving and swim swinging okay so that is the uh answer and next is what significance does the line a year ago on this very day presents in the context of the poem so basically you have to talk about the contrasting situation okay let us have a look at how to approach This line is extremely significant because it anticipates the stark irony of the narrator's life, exposing him to paradoxical situations. So, what was what happened few years ago, and what is the situation right now? How ironical is this, and how completely opposite, or how is it a complete contrast to what had happened years ago? Okay, so it it indicates that the narrator was regarded as a hero or hailed as a hero by his people in the recent past. As I told you, this makes the reader curious as to how he is treated by his people now or today. So definitely, when we are seeing at the very opening of the poem that this particular uh, the so called the patriot, the speaker of the poem, who is hailed as a hero, is welcomed so grandly, right, by the people. People, you know, curious to meet. uh, uh the hero and assembling in the house roofs okay so uh, definitely we are apprehending uh and we are curious to know that how is this particular person treated today at present okay so this rhyme reinforces the shift in the speaker's description of what happened in the past to what is happening at present quite intelligibly okay so this is kind of reinforcing emphasizing the shift which had happened in the speaker's description all right so very very important question moving ahead is the next question so when you are see when you are giving the given the first stanza you can be asked about the last stanza because it's showing the contrast or else if you are giving the last stanza also you can you know uh, you know vice versa can happen so you can also be asked regarding the first stanza because that is also showing the contrast so please keep that in mind next is the air broke into a mist with bells the old walls rocked with the crowd and cries had i said good folk mere noise repels but give me your sun from yonder skies they had answered and afterward what else so <clears throat> this is about again the same kind of it's continuing so that is how he was hailed as a hero uh, he could you know people could do anything for him so what do the last three lines suggest about the mood of the crowd okay so this uh, these people were welcoming him so happily okay so grandly that if he had told them that mere noise and slogans did not please him they would they uh, they uh, you know and that they should give him the sun then what would have happened that is there in the sky far away from them they would have replied okay that uh, that was executed okay one second what uh, that was executed done that is this is done and what else do you want okay so basically what is it trying to tell you is uh, what is the mood of the uh, mood of the crowd here that they uh, they can do they can do whatever the patriot or you know the speaker demands okay they can basically uh, they <clears throat> can uh, you know execute whatever has been ordered right so if let's say the 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 
our patriot is asking him you know that mere slogans and mere noise is not pleasing you because they were assembling and they were you know hailing um, uh him as a hero they were raising slogans in favor of the hero or uh, in favor of the speaker so if the speaker would have told him that mere noise and mere slogans is not enough okay and you know uh, they should give him the sun okay which is far away which is of course it's not possible so even the impossible could be even the impossible would be would have been made possible made possible for the speaker and after the execution of the impossible again the crowd would have asked what else do you need okay so that is talking about you know that kind of mood of the crowd so they were you know you can say that they were in a frenzy mood okay frenzy mood and they could do anything okay they were in a frenzy mood and they could do anything for the hero or the patriot next is uh, explain the line but give me your sun from yonder skies very uh, easy i have just explained this already that you know this is what the speaker uh, as the patriot tells the crowd surrounding him he tries to tell them that he doesn't want the cheers and the applause even if he says uh, that you know something which is um, he wants uh, them to fetch something which is immortal and imperishable that is of course the sun uh, this implies that he wants to live in their memories as a great hero forever now this is very ironic because of uh, what we will see at the end of the uh, at the end of the poem right so this is talking about the speaker wanting to achieve immortality immortality especially in the minds of the people but uh, and here uh, you know this is definitely a kind of apprehending the future and in the future we will definitely see how quickly the public opinion shifts okay so shift of the public opinion all right so next question guys uh so we come to the next stanza a lack it was i who leaped at the sun very important over here is uh the myth of icarus as i had explained in the poem when i was dealing with the poem to give it my lovely friends to keep not man could do have i left undone and you see my harvest what i reap okay this is where this very day now a year is run that means a year has already passed away and this is the very day when you know that all those things had happened so he is now reminiscing about his past so on this very day what is going to happen is of course his execution okay so let's see what happens uh, what is the question that has been asked to us that is explain what harvest the speaker is referring to harvest is what you you reap what i mean uh, uh, harvest what you reap right so what happened is uh, the speaker uses the word sarcastically or you know satirically the harvest this is you know uh, his harvest is what he has reaped whereas what he had sown was bringing glory power and honor to the people so he was something uh, you know he was uh, hailed as a hero so definitely uh, his life was all about power his life was all about glory so people used people glorified him people honored him right he feels that all <clears throat> for all the outstanding things that he did for people he has got a reward that is extremely disgraceful okay as he is going to die at the gallows he has realized that his own people who once worshiped him so here we are seeing the shift of public opinion okay so um and as he is going to die at the gallows he has realized that his own people who once worshiped him have misunderstood him and he is responsible for his tragic end and remember this brings us to the title of the poem the title is the patriot and it's also subtitled as uh, uh, an old story so please refer to that old story as well 
okay i have already explained you that there is a subtle reference to the story of jesus christ okay because it's already named as an old story so definitely we can refer to jesus christ story because you all know that jesus christ was also crucified and this was happened this had happened because of people's misunderstanding so do we find you know elements of that story as well so we can definitely refer to that i have already explained this part so you just need to refer to this right that uh, this brings us to the title of the story of the poem you know uh, and it's also called an old story okay subtitled as an old story which takes us back to the story of the jesus christ who, who was also hailed as a hero initially but later on he was executed he was crucified right so guys i hope you are enjoying the session and if you want to gain 100% knowledge and score 100% marks then there is a link below uh, given in the description box and pinned comment you can have unlimited live classes with fun and high level quizzes and you can compete with the students throughout the world plus you have interactive replays so even the replays are not going to be boring it's going to be fun filled because you are going to have quizzes quiz questions even there with the leaderboard where you can analyze where you stand so that is the importance of the quiz questions along with the leaderboard right so you have the downloadable content which you can download at the end of the session and doubt solving that is the best part guys because this is not very easily happening in the sessions which we take in the youtube because there are so many students it's difficult to cater to you personally in youtube but it is absolutely possible in our regular classes because we have based on the strength of the students we have our class teachers who are going to cater to your doubts and then of course we have master teachers so definitely collaborative effort of the class teacher and master teacher is going to definitely solve your doubts guys and there is that individual touch the personal touch that we give you in your in in our platform and unlimited live classes guys please mind that so that is the, the difference between uh, the youtube sessions and the platform sessions and after each and every uh, uh, session you've got assignments which is which is going to help you to understand how far you are able to understand the session okay uh, whatever has been taught in the class have you been able to grasp that so if you follow the assignment and if you solve that you will definitely be able to do so and in case you haven't been able to follow or maybe you have some doubts you can get back to us in the next class right so you have we also take quality tests which is going to definitely benefit you for your revision boost up your confidence and we'll give you the performance report to help you understand where you need to work out so shortcoming strengths that is very very important acknowledging your shortcomings uh, strengthening your strong points these are very very important guys and that is what we do at our, in our sessions right so 5000 plus micro courses and crash courses for competitive exams that too in less price so here is the link and this is the coupon code guys so please do visit the link and now we are offering you 50% off it was just till 14 feb but we have extended it okay because we do care for you guys so we want that you know more and more children should get the benefit of this particular offer guys 50% off so this is the you know very very this is very reasonable <clears throat> so um here you go okay this is the price that is very reasonable 2000 pro price was 2000 but after the 50% off swrepro this discount coupon 50% off guys 1349.5 that brings down to 3.3 .3 rupees per class i don't think that you can get a course at such a reasonable uh, price this is nothing guys right so this is for you only you guys so please don't wait anymore because we do not know when this offer is going to be uh, you know over so get hold of this opportunity don't let, do not let go of this opportunity okay so that is why we have extended this offer uh, because we want more and more of you to join and more and more more and more of you to avail the benefit all right guys with that <laughs> let us move ahead <clears throat> with the next passage with the next stanza there's nobody on the house tops now just a palsied few so from here we have completely shifted okay to the present situation 
uh, at the window said for the best of the sight all allow at the shambles gate or better yet by the scaff the by the very scaffold's foot i trow so let us have a look at the question the difference what difference is seen as i told you the last question the last stanza and the first stanza both can ask you the difference okay so what difference is seen in the people's attitude towards the patriot before and now very important question so a year ago he was loved he was a hero okay he was loved he was adored honored by people he was kind of glorified okay by the people people's attitude mirrored the prime of his popularity so we have already seen how his path was strewn with roses and myrtle how uh, people uh, gathered uh, you know um, people in such a huge number gathered that even the houses swayed right so now what happened the same people hate him okay it's hatred now okay and he finds himself disgraced discarded deprived not only deprived of the honor and the pride but also mistreated mistreated okay and or mal handled by the same people who had hailed him as a hero who had honored him okay so the way so this is definitely showing the rise and fall of his fortune that also you can add right so the way people treat him now reflects the lowest ebb of his career from which death alone will bring him the ultimate liberation and relief okay you can also add the old story part old story which is there in the title okay as i have already told you few slides ago you can also add that part all right so that is going to somehow enrich your answers next question okay we go go on to the next stanza i go in the rain and more than needs a rope cuts both my wrists behind so this is the critical condition of the same person who was hailed as a hero ironical right and i think by the feel my forehead bleeds for they fling whoever has a mind stones at me for my years misdeeds but what exactly are his misdeeds that it's not very clarified very much clarified in the poem so that is that has left the poem quite ambiguous in nature as well so the speaker uses the okay that's the very question that has been asked so basically you have to talk about how is this phrase adding to the ambiguity of the poem so as it clearly appears the speaker has used this phrase to mean something that remains mysterious and unknown till the end as he states people who had loved and respected him so much have suddenly started to uh, hate him uh, for all that he has done for just a period of one year this period seems to be so short too short for a complete change in the mindset of those people okay so <clears throat> unless the person whom they have acknowledged as their icon the hero does something that completely shatters their trust as the poet does not throw any light on this aspect we are unable to precisely know anything okay so definitely this years misdeeds is therefore adding to the ambiguity ambiguity means which is not very clear which is ambiguous in nature right so no clarity regarding what were his misdeeds next and the final stanza guys thus i entered and thus i go in triumphs people have dropped down dead we have an alliteration very good example of alliteration here paid by the world what dost thou owe me god might question now instead this god shall repay i am safe for so so finally he finds safety so safety is where god okay safety is in the lap of god okay so that is the safe haven for him and the question is explain in rhymes people have dropped down dead very 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 crucial uh, based on the theme of the uh, poem as well so it's an example of a paradox i have explained paradox i think um, uh, you know the figure of speech part 
so please uh, go through the fig uh, there are okay let me remind you guys there are two videos okay one in the hindi channel one in the english channel explaining the very important figures of speech or poetic devices please do go through it right the word triumphs means victories signifying brilliant feats achieved by people on the battlefield you all know triumphs is what triumph means victory and here it uh, it signifies victory which is achieved by people on in the bat on the battlefield such feats lead to an elevation in the status so those of uh, those people who uh, achieve this they are elevated they are uh, on a higher they are, they are shown on a higher pedestal okay uh, however uh, this occasionally happens when they lose their lives during the course of the battle so what happens is in order to achieve this high state what happens they lose their life thus falling in death is inevitable even when it contradicts what it results in that is elevation or ascendance that is a triumph basically signifies that a triumph basically signifies i am i am understanding this is getting confused you are getting confused see i'll explain you can read through this answer i'll explain you in very very simple words <clears throat> let me go back to this particular uh, line see in triumphs people have dropped down dead now what happens triumph here refers to battlefield theek okay? hai battlefield okay so what happens in the battlefield people die but what happens when the people die we call them martyrs right so they are elevated to the stature so the poet is saying that in order to achieve that elevation what happens is they have to die so when they are dying they are dropping down right they are dropping down but after death they are elevated in the minds of the people because we are calling them martyrs right so in that way they are ascending so isn't there a contradiction so that exactly is the paradox over here okay so what happens is um elevation happens definitely what is that elevation because they have become triumphant so in order to achieve that elevation they have to lose their lives they have to drop down dead okay so that dropping down dead and after uh, facing death they are elevated what is the result of that death they are elevated to the stature of martyr they are raised to a higher pedestal so one side on one hand they are dying but on the other hand they are raised to a higher level so that exactly is the paradox and this is very 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 important and with that i i hope you've understood what the poem is all about and the very important questions from this particular poem so very beautiful poem i really love this poem a lot and uh, a, a bit complicated yes i would not say it's very simple yes uh, there are some concepts which are really complicated and there is also an ambiguity in the poem but anyways i really love this poem the theme of the poem is beautiful okay talking about how uh, easily the public opinion changes and you know uh, how uh, once you're hailed as a hero and the next moment you know the rise and the fall of the fortune which also happens in politics okay so closely associated with the political scenario okay so you can find a lot of contemporary relevance as well so it's a kind of you know it has become a classic from my point of view i i really consider this as a classic as well because yeah it's it's timeless you can place this in the in this context as well right so yes guys that was all for today and this is the homework question the question is i'm safe for so what irony is involved here i had already explained you while i was explaining the stanza and you can also find the answer in the explanation of the complete poem uh, in the in both the i think i have done this poem in both the channels if not in the english channel then definitely in the hindi channel so please do uh, locate i mean please do take points from that and add on to your answer and don't forget to comment on the homework uh, question the next session is going to be on nine gold medals so please be prepared bye bye take care don't forget to hit the like button share the video amongst your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and do visit the link in the description box use the coupon code swrepro so thank you so much take care and bye bye